In this presentation, we will enter an adjusted entry related to a short-term loan. In other words, we're going to adjust the loan to a short-term loan as opposed to a long-term loan to represent the current and long-term liabilities within QuickBooks Pro 2020, QuickBooks Desktop 2020. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by selecting the view drop down and go into the open windows list. We're going to be doing adjusting entries. Adjusting entries typically have to do with timing or allocations. We're going to, this one's going to be with, with regards to an allocation process between short term and long term liabilities, short term and long term loans. So we're going to go then to the reports drop down up top. Company and financial will scroll down to the balance sheet standard. The balance sheet standard within the balance sheet standards, we're going to change the dates to, we're going to make it 0101202022920, January through February 2020, the period we are working in. Now, when we think about adjusting entries, note that we're thinking about these as of the end of February being the cutoff date. So what happens with adjusting entries oftentimes is that we've decided oftentimes to uh, make the process as we do the data entry to be somewhat simplified, possibly not fully on an accrual basis or possibly not uh, making this the kind of representation that we need to, such as in this case, breaking out short term and long term portion to make that easier as we enter the data into the system. And then when we're going to present the reports as of the end of the month, the end of the year, then we'll make the adjusting entries in order to readjust those amounts that may not be on a perfect accrual basis or those amounts that need to be allocated somewhat differently, such as short-term and long-term liabilities, so that we can then present the reports while still being able to enter the data in a more kind of easy type of way. To do that, we'll also think about reversing some of the entries that need to have some type of reversal to get us back to the kind of simplified spot. So therefore, our goal really is to be on a perfect accrual basis as of the cutoff date, the end of the time period, in this case, the end of the month. The issue here is that we have our loans down here. You'll recall there's a couple different ways to enter the loans. We could enter the loans a separate loan account for each loan. Or we could put all the loans into one account as we have done here, this amount representing two loans, and then and, and then use a sub ledger such as this to give us the detail. This is going to be the, the short term loan. And then we had a long term loan that was for the 72,000. And so that's one, one thing we have to deal with. The other thing we have to deal with is that there could be a short term and long term portion to the loan payable. Now, we're not typically going to be breaking out the short-term portion on every time we make a payment. It would be too tedious to do so. What we're going to do instead is do an adjusting entry at the end of the time period and during the process during the month, then only having one account. So what we'll do first is think about a short-term loan. We put both loans into this loan payable account. If I double-click on the loan payable account, we'll see that uh, the current, the first loan was at that 72, which was the 22 and the 50. We're gonna say that's one loan at the 72. This is the amortization schedule that is supporting that loan. We'll think about this one next time because it has monthly payments and has both a short-term and long-term portion to it. Therefore, it's a bit more complicated. Then we have the other loan, which was uh, taken out for 5,000. That was when we financed the office equipment. It's all going to be short term, that loan, because it's going to be paid off within a year. So that loan is going to look more like this for an amortization schedule, or it's going to be paid off at the end of the, of the year, let's say. So that means it's all going to be short term. So what we want to do then is reallocate this 5000 from uh, the long term or from the loan, the one loan payable we have, which we set up in long term, allocate that to the short term portion. So that's what we will do now couple ways we could do it traditionally we would do this with a journal entry we would go to the company we would go to make journal entry we would then enter the debits and credits related to it however here we'll try to use the registers when we can which will in essence be a journal entry as well and we'll see the journal entry as we do it and then uh, when we cannot do it when it's too cumbersome to use the ledgers then we'll go to the journal entry here we can use a, a register fairly easily 
because this account is a balance sheet account and therefore we can go to the balance sheet account and enter it as a plus and minus or up and down format as opposed to debit and credit format. Let's do that now. Our goal to make this go down by 5,000 to increase a current liability account that we're going to put up top, which is going to be a loan payable current portion. And that's going to go up by the 5,000 to represent the fact that this particular loan will be due within a year. So we're going to select the lists dropdown. I'm going to go to the chart of accounts. So lists and chart of accounts. We then want to go to the liabilities. We're considering within the liabilities, we have the loan payable. I'm going to double click on the loan payable. That will then give us the register. Within the register, we're going to have this happen as of the end of the month, 0228.20. 0228.20. We don't have any payee. This is going to be a decrease. So we're going to be decreasing it by that 5000 for the loan that we had to Office Depot right above it. And we're going to be putting this into a new account, one we need to set up. I'm going to set it up by typing it in there. I'm going to say loan payable and I'm going to call it current. So it's the current portion of the loan payable. We're going to say tab. We're going to set it up. It's asking, do we need to set it up? We're going to say yes, please. We're going to set that up. It's not an expense type of account. We're going to change that expense type of account. It is going to be other current liability. It's an other current liability type of account. And so it's going to be a loan payable, no description needed. Everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and save and close. There's our transactions. Now in the, in the, uh, memo, we might want to put adjusting entry. Uh, I'll just put adjusting entry and then we might want to put more detail to break out short term portion or something like that. And then I'm going to say record. And then let's take a look and see if it does indeed do what we would expect it to do. I'm going to close this back out. You'll note as we did that, it does make a journal entry. That's this reference down here. It's basically QuickBooks sees it as a journal entry, even though it's in the register here. Closing this out, closing this out, back to the balance sheet. We can see here the 69. And then in the short term liabilities, we have the loan payable current of the 5,000. If we were to double click on the 5,000, we then see the transaction. It is in the form of a journal entry as is indicated by the type. If we were to double click on that 5,000, we then see our register. If we double click on this journal entry, you'll see the debits and credits in debit and credit format with the journal entry. Closing this back out, closing this back out, closing this back out. The other side then going loan payable down here, the long-term portion, double clicking on that. We'll see that it went up and then we removed it here. We could see the adjusting entry in the memo, double clicking on it. We see the uh, general, the journal entry, double clicking on that. There's the actual debits and credits. Closing this out, closing this back out, closing this back out. We're going to go back to the trial balance, take a look at where we are at at this point, and then we'll uh, move forward from there. So I'm going to go down to the accounting and taxes, trial balance. Let's then uh, see the dates of 01, 01 to uh, 20 to 12, 31. Oh, let's make it 02, 29, 20. This is where we stand at this point in time. Check your numbers. If anything's off, you can check the dates to see if it's a date issue. And then uh, you can go in and try to fix any problems for it. If you would like to use the backup files, we will be providing backup files. So if something's wrong, you can always restore the backup file to the current point in the problem you would like to work forward with and move forward from there.